Hey y'all, and happy Tuesday. It is about 9.25. Y'all, we left the AC on last night and I'm like cold. It says that it's um, 72 degrees in here. Normally by, what, 9, 10 o'clock right now, it should have been like almost 80 in here. I even got the window open to like bring some hot heat in here. So I've been watching some older videos um, of people from my watch later list. So I'm trying to clear that. And then um, I wiped my counters down and I cleaned and emptied my trunk out. Now I'll do one big pickup, one, I'll do one more drop off for Goodwill, but I definitely need to put my containers away by the end of this week. Um, put my clothes away, hang them up, whatever, and then just go through Sky's closet. And of course the last thing is the so what I did yesterday was went ahead and made the chicken tacos. That way all I have to do today is just heat it back up and um, just heat the, the tacos up. But I can do that in the microwave. So I could spray the oven down today if I really wanted to. So other than that, I really don't have nothing to do today. All right, y'all, I know the hair looks different. I took a minute while watching Myrtle Beach vlogs to straighten my hair. So um, I'm gonna say I'm not really satisfied just yet with the color. So last night I did order some more bleach, even lighter, redo this. So I just wanted to straight cause it was nappy at the moment. But anyways, I could really use a nap. Like right now we're literally in survival mode. I am literally like using up everything that I have here. I might have to go to the grocery store probably after tomorrow. Um, and just kind of like grocery shop literally for a couple days at a time. All right, y'all. So y'all remember yesterday I made the, um, the Mississippi chicken, whatever. Um, and then I made the other two chicken breasts with the shredded chicken. So that is for our chicken tacos. I can't wait to show you guys those because I'm tired of the beef. Like, I'm not tired of the beef. I'm just tired of like the beef not making my taco, my crunchy taco, my hard taco. I'm not, I'm just like tired of it not making it moist enough to like just melt in your mouth. So um, yeah, I'm gonna add, I got cheese in there. I'm gonna add um, lettuce, tomato, and then on mine, I'm gonna add some diced onions. I'm just gonna see like, you know, what this tastes like. And of course I don't have any salsa. Wish I did, but it is what it is. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So tacos were definitely a hit yesterday. Everybody at least had, um, everybody at least had two. So this is what I have left over. Oh, what I will tell you is if you choose to do the crock pot recipe and you have, um, you've let it cool off and then what you can do is put it into the refrigerator. Now, if you want to spruce it up with like some more seasoning just to make sure like it tastes like chicken taco meat, whatever, put um, half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon, um, you know, like powdering along with like half a cup of water put that in like a pan so that you can heat it back up like I did yesterday and then you just drain the juice. Tasted just like some good old chicken tacos. Um, anyways, like I told y'all this week, my mission is the oven. My mission is, um, you know, like the other little small things around here, putting clothes away, things like that. So right now I have the mixture ready um, for the oven. So what I put in here is literally just simply water, 
uh, bacon soda and some Dawn dish detergent. That's it, that's all. So this is what my oven looks like right now. Y'all, it is, it's just time, it's time. So this is what it looks like now. All right, I have my um, racks in the tub. I'm gonna be using this grill and oven cleaner. It says it's tough on grease and stuff. Um, I've used it before, but it's really good on grease and ground food stains and other hard stains like barbecue grills, countertop stainless steels, and tile. So I don't see, okay, here it is. Wipe it immediately. We shall see. So yeah, I'm gonna work on cleaning the racks and then um, work on this oven. Do that. to the racks just to kind of give it some action. All right, for right now, this is the best that I could do because I am thinking of spraying this easy off while I have the window open, even though it says it's fume free, but I'm just spraying it on the spot, which is that. And then since I last picked the camera up, I did decide to spray the fume off. I did have a mask on when I did it and then I just closed it, let it sit for 75 minutes. Um, Actually, I let it sit for longer than 75 minutes, but I'll show you guys the results now that it's fully clean. Of course, not every time is it going to be clean, but at least it looks cleaner than what it did. Um, so I'm thankful for that part. So now I can put the racks back in. I forgot about those. I can put the racks back in. I made butter noodles for the kiddos to have for lunch. Yes. That's that. I'm just watching a couple videos from my watch later list and as I'm speaking about them, boom. So yeah, as I'm speaking about them, they just pulled up. I'll grab that in just a second. Um, other than that, I'm gonna sit back down, finish watching some videos and I'm also watching Riverdale. I'm telling y'all, it took him like 10 minutes to get out the car and bring one box up to my door. Why? Because we were too busy sitting in the van on the on the bomb. I swear, you can get in the van and drive off immediately after dropping my stuff off, but you couldn't hurry up and I don't get it. So I gotta wait on you to get off the of your boat. 10 minutes, just to wait on you. Anyways, let me show y'all the exact stuff. So literally inside of my package somehow, there's like powder or something. But anyways, I got the BW2, which is Powder Lightning. It's a Clario Professional um, brand. And then I also got some Clario Shimmer Lights. This is a blonde toning shampoo. So it reduces brass with purple pigment for refreshed cool tones. And then I also got um, just a violet toning mask. So it deep conditions and tones blonde, highlighted, and silver hair. So up front, y'all. So apply to clean, wet hair, comb through to evenly distribute, leave on for five minutes, rinse it thoroughly. I feel like because there's only one more week left to vacation, I have tried to be like on survival mode and make things like stretch. So now I'm like into that, that last piece. Um, here it is. I have like four or five boxes of pasta. I have like three boxes. I mean three bags of like taco season um, I have a whole box of ranch dressing um, powder uh, I mean I have green beans. I have corn. I have tomato paste like you know the crazy stuff but I'm literally down to the wire because so what I mean by I'm down to the wire is like I made butter noodles this morning um, they had that for lunch, so therefore, um, that's not going to be dinner. But I do have fish sticks, chicken nuggets, and I cannot think of what else. So anyways, um, what I mean by that is I'm going to have to get food 
to last us from simply tomorrow um, until basically next Friday um, because Saturday morning we'll be rolling out and it'll be more like a grab something to eat in the car type of thing. Um, with that being said, so I did a meal plan for a week. I haven't finished it yet, but when I do, I'm definitely going to share with you guys what I get um, because of the simple fact that I'm literally like on like I'm down to the wire. Um, got plenty of breakfast stuff like oatmeal, grits, cereal, waffles, but just not enough lunch and dinner. So I will be going to the grocery store tomorrow, probably to do a pickup order once I get everything situated, once I like figure out what it is I actually need and want. Um, it is easier for me to slide out to the grocery store on Thursdays as it just kind of levels out the week. Hey y'all and happy Thursday. Um, it is about 10.45 in the morning. What have I been doing this morning? Um, I actually put on my favorite show as you guys, well, my favorite movie, as you guys just seen, Save the Last Dance. I have not had anything to eat yet. Um, I'm not sure like if I'm even hungry. So that is the reason why I thought I came over to this kitchen. I think I want like just some eggs, want some toast, just something small and slight. I'm putting in my grocery order for today. And let me just say, the deals this week are amazing for 4th of July. So the deals are running from June 26th to July 4th. And y'all, to, to get groceries to last me until we leave basically next Saturday, because we're leaving um, July 6th. $50 budget because I don't want to spend you know too much on groceries before we go especially when when we come back from vacation I'll have to spend more money on groceries because we'll be back here for the next three weeks or as far as vacation goes everything is done everything is packed um, as you guys you know either have seen or not seen I've packed um, I came to the conclusion yesterday after putting clothes into my actual luggage and then non-clothes into my carry-on bag, even though I will be driving. Um, but my carry-on bag came with the luggage, so that's a plus. Um, I need to just grab a toothbrush for Cam so that we can put that in there um, and just have it packed and ready and some body wash for him. So literally just wipes the pouch, toothbrush for Cam, body wash. That's all I need. Other than that, everything else is like a last minute thing, which is like the money, phone chargers, uh, AirPods, earpods, whatever, earbuds, uh, bras, and then my tripod, my small one, my big one, my three in one charging station, my camera, of course, and then just like um, Skylar's money, headphone, and charger. So it's just like the little small things. We literally have all of like seven or eight days left until we go, and I'm really, really looking forward to going. <laughs> Hey y'all, I had to go wash my face. I feel like a brand new person. It's just like, I felt like I was still tired, but I'm not, type of thing. Um, I changed my shirt earlier, cause it ain't Friday. Then I got tired, I had got something on that shirt anyway. So I put that shirt on after the shower last night and um, I ended up just putting this one on. But I was watching Save the Last Dance this morning and then all of a sudden, I just somehow turned it turned it off and forgot about it. So um, I've already fixed the kids some lunch. They had chicken nuggets and butter noodles. I had one nugget because I had that egg sandwich late, like around 11.30. Um, my order is in, y'all, about my order. I know this is gonna sound crazy, 
but when they sit up here and ask you, you know, like to add all your items to the cart, you finalize it. I should not have to go into each individual item and put like what I want in case you guys don't have it. Food Lion actually will like message you while they're doing your order, which is what I wish Kroger would do too. Um, so Kroger does not do that. Kroger will literally just like ignore you and keep it moving. But what you could have done is just easily like substituted it for something, ask me later, or put it in the app that, you know, is this an okay substitution? Didn't even do that. So I call and they're like, we've already processed the order. I can't go back and get, you know, an item. So like I asked them to replace the pop and chicken TV dinner meal for Cam. And they're like, oh, we've already placed the, you know, processed it. And then there's also like the Oscar Mayer smoky hot dogs. Okay, just give me the regular ones. Well, they can't do that. So now it's okay because I need to go in anyway. Um, so anyways, I'm going back to save the last dance. My order will be ready between five and six. So I'll head out to get that, um, take my trash, and then um, come on back and show you guys my grocery haul. You know, you know this movie and you've watched it too many times when you know the words. One thing about me is those those 90s and 2000s movies will never get old. One of my favorite movies other than Wizard of Oz, Color Purple, um, and Matilda. Yo, I can't believe Say the Last Dance is over with already. <laughs> then again, I did start it this morning. Um, what they have up next for me to watch is It Takes Two with Mary-Kate and Ashley. I grew up on that one too. So that was another good favorite. Anyways, y'all, I'm out and it was reading 99 degrees, but now it's reading 95. So my plan is first to run to CVS, um, grab my son's medicine, and then um, also grab some, grab a toothbrush while I'm in there. Then again, I might just get it in Kroger. Okay, so I've been in the CVS, got his medicine, and now as you guys can see, I'm back in the car. Um, I did look for the wipe pouches while I was in there. They don't have any. Um, so my best option is to, um, you know, just run to Kroger because I need to run it anyway and grab those few things and then um, do my pickup order. Wish that everything could have been all on one, but. Yeah, so from what it looks like, they don't have the pouches either. So I may just have to use the one at home. All right, y'all, so I was able to get everything I needed. It is way too damn hot out here. When I first got in the car, it said 99 degrees. Now it says 92, but it's still, yeah, it's hot as hell out here. I ran in, got what I needed. They do not have the pouches, so I'm just gonna have to stick with what I got at home. Ice cream was $1.99, the baby whites were $5.49, crispy chicken was $7.49, toothbrush was a dollar, and the Michelini's meal was $1.25, Smokies was $1.99, Swab was $2.99, so $23. So now that I'm at home, I got the soy sauce ramen flavor. I got the beef flavor, pizza cheese, mozzarella cheese. I also picked up a gallon of 2% milk. 
Um, I also picked up some flower tortillas along with three of the Kool-Aid jammers, blue raspberry, grape, and strawberry kiwi. Next, I got a bag of goldfish. These are the colored ones. I got the Suave Refreshing Body and Face Wash. I also picked up a roll of hamburger or ground beef. And then um, I also picked up some flame broiled meatballs. And then we got the crispy chicken strips, the jammed chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, and then TV dinners. This is the Michelinis Poppin' Chicken. The fettuccine alfredo with broccoli. I also got the Oscar Mayer Smokies. Then we got the banquet chicken pot pie, two turkey pot pies, and then also ended up getting some wipes. Just some little Pampers wipes that were probably like a dollar something. Some mashed potatoes, sour cream and chives. A box of hamburger helper stroganoff and then i also picked up a pizza crust mix along with the little six pack of gushers and then a box of pop tarts and i picked up some cheddar cheese veggie straws as well as hamburger buns hot dog buns that were kind of broken up then i bought the three pack of wipes because i totally forgot that i did a pickup order for some and then i also got the crunch berry captain crunch cereal along with two things of yeah, bread so there y'all have it that was my grocery haul i'm ending the video right here because i want to make sure that i get all of the things out that i need to peace see you in the next one